Hi you guys, happy fall. Today we are going shopping. I am so excited. I need a little retail therapy and no better place to get it than Trader Joe's, which is honestly my favorite store of all time. I just love it. I love their skincare as you know, love their groceries. I just, their flowers are always the best. Everything is perfect there. So I really thought it'd be a good boost of the spirits to run into Trader Joe's together. And I'm today specifically looking for everything fall. I want all the pumpkin flavored everything. Sorry, I'm sitting outside in the parking lot and there's like a siren going by. I want all the pumpkin flavored everything. I want all the cute fall stuff. I am just so ready and I need to restock my skincare. So why not? Cause I'm here. Um, I don't know why I have the fall bug so bad this year. I think it's because we're in the middle of moving as you know. So I didn't get to decorate. I have all this cute like autumn stuff and Halloween stuff and I didn't get to put any of it out because I would have just immediately had to box it back up. So I think because of that, I'm like really going through withdrawals. So hopefully this will help. But I have my my favorite like fall t-shirt. I don't know if you can see. I'm in my Mustang convertible, so I don't have that much room. I'll show you my shirt later. But super cute like pumpkin jack-o'-lantern t-shirt. I have my pumpkin manicure that I'll put the nail color down below. And I'm just so ready for this. So let's go stock up at the best place <laughs> in the world. My favorite, Trader Joe's. It's the promised land. Oh, we are definitely needing a cart for this. So many cute pumpkins. Nate likes the ugly ones. I like the white ones. I wish I could get a bunch of these, but then I just have to move them. And the mums are so pretty. Pumpkin O's, what? I am intrigued. Tell me more. This is a yes for me, for sure. This is specifically why I had to come. Oh my God, it's so good. This looks intriguing, I don't know what. Oh, it's like a cheesy pumpkin Alfredo sauce. Yummy. Oh my God, this looks amazing. I'm so here for this. Yes, yes, yes. These also look really good. Spicy chai and harvest blend. Super yummy. Okay, this is why we are here. Like, look how cute this pasta is. Definitely stocking up on this. This is so cute. So much fall goodness happening right here. Oh my god, this is probably so good. This looks amazing, and I did not know you could get like cake cups here for Keurig. Super cool. Pumpkin spice. This looks so good. Oh my gosh. Mm. Yum. Always, always, always stock up on these. So good. And I have to stock up on this, my other big favorite. It's intriguing. You just literally cannot beat the prices here. Like this is actually, I really like this face mask for $2. Oh no, they don't have the pumpkin body butter. That sucks. That is amazing. And it's so cute. I feel like this could go either way. <laughs> maybe good, maybe bad. These are super cute wreaths for 13 bucks. Okay, well that was mostly a success, except there were three things on my list. Candy corn popcorn they didn't have, so such a bummer, but maybe your Trader Joe's will have it, and I'm definitely gonna check some other stores. Um, pumpkin body butter they didn't have, that's again devastating. <laughs> I'm gonna definitely check another Trader Joe's for that. And then, well actually all the pumpkin everything I did get. So it was a success. Everything else is already checked off. So I'm gonna go home and show you the haul. Okay, we are back. Oh, you can see my pumpkin shirt better now. Isn't that so cute? Um, okay, so I wanna quickly haul everything I got. I think you saw most of it in the little clips, but I had to try this pumpkin O's cereal. In fact, let's try it. 
It does not smell pumpkin-y at all. Mm. Okay, it's good. It's subtle. It's almost like Apple Jacks, but pretty tasty actually, gluten-free. I mean, not a whole lot of nutritional value, but they're just so cute. Okay, then I also grabbed the pumpkin spice almond beverage. So excited to heat this up and mix it with coffee and try and do like a DIY pumpkin spice latte. It might actually also go well with the pumpkin spice rooibos tea, which I got. I think this was like one of my favorite finds. It's in a cute little tin. Like this is nice for, what was it, like $2.99? I love this little pumpkin teapot illustration. This is so cute. So maybe I'll try mixing these and make like a tea latte. That sounds really good. Then, you know, I stocked up my skincare, two packs of my favorite face wipes. I love them because they don't like burn. They don't make my face burn. You know what I mean? Like a lot of face wipes do. I always get one of these masks every time I go to Trader Joe's. The price point is just so good. And I do a lot of masks, so this is like a good one for me to do at least once a week, probably, just to kind of keep my masks cycling. Always restock my toner, rose toner. I could use a mist right now. Whew. Oh, that was a big squirt. <laughs> oh, it's so refreshing and rosy, and I just love that stuff. Okay, then, I don't know if this is the part of the video where you lose respect for me, but I got the pumpkin cream cheese, and I got pumpkin bagels. Every year, like since I was probably in high school, it's a tradition every fall for me to get a pumpkin bagel with pumpkin cream cheese on it and go to town. There's this chain, this like bagel chain called Einstein's Bagels where I'm from in Florida. They don't seem to be out here in California, but they're so good. And I always would get their pumpkin bagel with pumpkin cream cheese and a side of like their pumpkin soup. And that was like my fall meal. I know it's so embarrassing and not healthy, but I just figured I would try to recreate that. And then for other like meal combos, I got two different kinds of pasta. So this one is intriguing. The little pasta pieces are so cute. They look like little pumpkins, they're adorable. And so this is made with butternut squash. It does have something called wheat semolina. So I guess it's not gluten-free. But this is still, I think, probably a better option than most pastas because it does have the butternut squash. It's so cute, I love these. And then I had to get the pumpkin roasted, honey roasted pumpkin ravioli. Oh my gosh, these look so good to me. I thought it would be so adorable if I could combine this video with like a fun cook with me and make a festive fall meal out of stuff that I got. But like I mentioned, I'm moving and I just like couldn't, I have like one pot that's not packed in a box. So I don't really have that option, which makes me sad, but I'm gonna somehow make this at some point as like a moving, a break from like just pizza and beer, which is what moving usually is, right? <laughs> but these are, I was trying not to get perishables. These are the only two perishables I got, the cream cheese and the ravioli. So I'm gonna have to find a way to make this before I have to switch fridges. And then for either one of those pastas, I think this sauce is gonna be so good on top autumnal harvest creamy pasta sauce it has pumpkin butternut squash tomato puree this just looks like it's gonna be so good so i had to keep it a little more reasonable than i perhaps normally would <laughs> but i think these things are gonna be so fun and it really cheered me up to have like the spirit of fall even in the midst of my hectic time right now so i hope you guys had fun too thank you for shopping with me thank you for fall hauling with me leave a comment say hi hit subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye guys